Welcome to Virtual Commerce Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll review the quick start guide in order to run the Virtual Commerce platform using the CLI tool. So the prerequisites for it will be .NET Core 3.5 and Microsoft SQL Server. So first step is to install the CLI tool. Copy the link and pass it to the command prompt. Let's wait for the installation. It has been successfully installed. Now let's run the, this command to trust .NET Core SDK HTTPS certificate. Confirm. And as you can see now, the certificate was generated successfully and uh, trusted. Next step is to create a clean folder for our solution. Copy it and paste. Now let's go to the folder we've just created. And run the install command. Copy it and paste and run. Now it will start installation of the platform with selection of modules. Now you see it started to install modules. Let's wait for it completes. Okay, now the platform has been installed. Next step is go to the platform folder, open the app settings JSON file in text editor and uh, set the connection string. Here you, in the virtual commerce connection string, you should set the server name, database name, and the user ID password there. Save the changes uh, and let's run the platform. Copy this comment and paste it. Now it starts the platform. Wait until it initializes all the database and other stuff. And now it's started to run the Hangfire jobs. We can run the platform in the browser. If you did everything correctly, you should open the localhost address here and the admin site should be opened. Yes. So now just log in using the default credentials. And that's it. On the first run, it asks to change the password. So here's the platform running. 